Hello, my name is Matthew Bonnet. With me is Jason Sloan. We're from Cohort 15 of the Guildhall. Today is January 24th, 2011. We're going to be showing you the RB underscore hinge actor, which essentially places an object on a hinge just like you would a door, so it'll swing back and forth on one uh, rotation. All right, so we're going to be using the December 2010 version of UDK. So let's hop right to it. You can see that we already have our static mesh within the viewport. What we need here is a k-actor instead. We need something that's going to react to physics. If you had just a static mesh, it wouldn't react whenever you stuck it on the hinge. So let's go ahead and right-click on this. We'll go down to Convert, and Convert Static Mesh to k-actor. So now we have a k-actor that's going to react to physics. Next, we're going to need our hinge. To get this, we go to Content Browser, and you go to Actor Classes, and alternatively, you could get there by going to View, Browser Windows, and Actor Classes. What we're going to want is to expand the physics, not pickups, expand physics, and down here, you'll see RB Hinge Actor. You can just drag and drop, or you can right click, add RB Hinge Actor here. Let's go ahead and close this window. So now we have our hinge in the world. Now the placement of the hinge is important you want it to be with your object and you can see this little red arrow let me zoom in here a little bit you see this red arrow on it besides the X axis indicator this is showing where the hinge is going to be so right now if we left it where it was the object is going to rotate along that axis and you can see that we're not at the top so it would rotate here along this line rather than from the top what we want is for it to be on this rotation. We want it to be more like a swinging door, like a saloon door. So we're going to go ahead and close that, and let's raise it up to the top. That's not as, in, as important since it's already on this line. If it was in the middle, you would have kind of revolving doors. Alright, so now we have it in the world and we have it placed, but it's not attached to the K actor yet. So we're going to click on it, we're going to open up its properties window by hitting F4. You can also right click right click and go to RB hinge actor properties okay the tab that you're going to want to see is RB underscore constraint actor so we'll go ahead and expand that and we'll go ahead and minimize that as well and we'll minimize that so you want constraint actor 1 has nothing in it right now so it's not attached to anything we're going to lock our window and then we're going to select the object that we want to be on the hinge which is our gate so now that we have it selected We'll go here and we'll hit the green arrow, and now we have it connected. Okay, so we can go ahead and close this. We can go into our world. Let me back up just a little bit. We can go into our world, and you'll see that the gate is reacting on that hinge, and you can see that it's rotating on the axis that we had put it to. All right, let's go ahead and go out of here. So that's just going to kind of fumble around and it's going to be pushed around however you want to push it around. So let's give our gate a little bit of a spring. So let's go back into the properties. We're going to open up Constraint Instance. We'll go down to Angular. And we want to give it the Twist Position Drive. So this is going to give a little bit of gumption. So it's going to push back whenever you push on it. And it's going to be using these factors, these variables right here. Angular Drive Spring. Angular Drive Damping, and Angular Drive Force Limit. So you can play with these numbers here, and you can see them in practice right now. So now, whenever we push on it, you can see it pushes back really quickly. So that's really a harsh spring. So you could go down and you can change these numbers. You could lower them uh, probably about five or so. That might work a little bit better, depending on what you're going for. It just depends. So that might be a little bit weak for what you're going for, but that's how a lot of doors react. Uh, that looks like a good saloon door there. Alright, that about wraps it up. Good luck.